this will be an on live. Oh, yeah, you hear me there, and uh, because with this from live streaming, so uh, yeah, though. Oh, I think oh, we oh yes. <laughs> Uh, so, hello, I'm here with the uh, Craig Drescher, uh, the Asher Associate uh, Represent, Associate Distributor of the Europe, that's correct? Yeah, Sales for Europe, that's correct. Uh, yeah, and uh, uh, please tell me a little bit about uh, what is new on the, on, uh, on the car, and uh, I know there is no exactly new products on the last month, for example, but uh, what is the difference between the old model and the new model? And uh, the performers I see, it's pretty fast. They you know, do the good time, and, uh, and the Neil Craig also, uh, al also do the very, very fast, fast run. And uh, so just tell me a little bit on that, and then after I will ask you about, the, about the, your history of the racing. Okay, well, uh, first off, we don't have anything new here. Obviously, we're always working on stuff. The uh, two-wheel drive platform we're very happy with, although here's been a, a bit of a tough race, to be fair. We struggled in the beginning. Um, what we'd learned through the previous EOS rounds up until this one, actually, when we started out, we'd never been, I think, as far off the pace as we had at the beginning of the two-wheel drive event for probably two years. So we really had to work hard on trying to figure out what was required from the cars. The nature of the track's a little bit different. The traction's different with the cushioning under the floor. So we, we, we struggled to nail down the details, actually. We got there in the end, and Una was unlucky not to win, in my opinion, but that's racing, you know. At least we had a competitive package in the end. Four-wheel drive, uh, for a while, it's no secret, it's been a struggle for us, you know, to to be competitive against Schumacher and X-Ray. So um, we don't expect a lot. Una does a really good job. Um, but here, for some reason, again, it's an anomaly that um, actually is really fast, really competitive. Um, he's, I think, sitting third overall. Could have actually been a little bit higher, given a bit of luck. So uh, so it's, it's a bit of a shock, and we can't actually work out kind of why his car seems to be so different on track to say Neil's car. Neil's still yeah. sitting sixth or seventh overall, so he's he's done reasonably well from a, from a pretty poor start. Okay. But the cars are very similar, but look so different on track. So we can't quite figure out why we're competitive with uh, Una and the other cars struggle a little bit. So we've got some work to do in the four-wheel drive class, and then we know that we, um, we're trying to nail down details and exactly what makes yeah. the cars perform and what doesn't on this kind of surface. And when you get differences in the track, Wesley like the high-speed nature of this yeah, track. So, so as far as um, new products on the car, nothing, nothing new from us at this moment in time. But like I say, we are, we are continuously working on stuff. And I think we've been a little bit lazy. As a group, you know, the guys were a little bit grumpy after two-wheel drive. Um, oh, yeah. You know, going into the finals, it's like, you know, we're struggling. Why are we struggling? I said, unfortunately, we've got nobody to blame but ourselves because, you know, we've not done any running on EOS carpet or any carpet running really in, in, in well, since the second round, which was nine weeks ago. Yeah. You know, Yuna was in the States racing on clay for a week and a half. So he it's really... He yeah. really struggled to come and adapt quickly. And these guys, other guys are running on it week in, week out, testing. So they're up to speed immediately. Neil was racing eight scale on Astro last week. So it's like we, our two fastest guys uh, are really struggling to put the time in to come here and be competitive out the blocks. So we're always playing catch up. And that's, you know, we're always on the back foot when we do that. So it's. It's, I'd love to hit the ground running from the first the practice run. Yes. You know, the guys be fast, the cars be good, and know what we're doing. So I just feel like as a, as a group at the minute, we're guessing. So, mm -hmm. you know, we've sat down and we've said, look, we need to be more prepared, more organized, and um, a little bit more disciplined in our practice and do more practice. So we're going to put some time in. I think others have, have pushed on, caught us up in the two-wheel drive category and overtaken us. So fundamentally, there's nothing wrong with our platform, certainly for the two-wheel drive. Um, we just need to push the setup forward, and I think we've got some good ideas now. Yeah, the, uh, Jona, Jona okay. he did very nice work for, uh, for, 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 for w w with the cars. Oh, yeah, yes. yeah, yeah, definitely. He was competitive in the end, but in the beginning, it was a struggle. You know, the cars looked bad, and they were doing crazy things. Uh, the landings were really terrible. There's just no flow and feel to it. We got there in the end, you know, we had uh, really good lap times and uh, we closed the gap. You know, in, in the beginning, we were seven tenths of a second a lap down on, on the other top guys. Yeah. And we haven't had that for two years, so. I think the Neil, the, the Neil, Neil he did also very, very good, uh, 
very good the best laps uh, i think there was 22 0 or very, very, very close for the, for the four wheel yeah yeah the, the four wheel uh, very, very, very yeah very close to uh, the 21 i guess i i don't remember but i i remember that he he win his heat uh, yeah, he was he, he was fast, and he drove well in the last run. He was much cleaner and more yeah, precise. Sure but yeah. Do aiming, yeah. yeah, yeah, he's well. I think he's sat now sixth or seventh overall. Yeah. Eunice third, I, I believe. So I've just I've not looked at the times for the for the last round overalls, but that's where I would guess they would be. So they're competitive. I mean, you know, Neil often struggles in the four wheel drive class on the EOS carpet. He loves the car on astroturf, but he just can never quite get the feel so you know he's he's getting old as well how, how, <laughs> how many times he uh, he do the european champion who neil uh, it's nine or maybe ten i, I think it, i think it's ten yeah so he always jokes with me that he's coming to get me and i always joke with him that he's, he's getting a little bit too old now so and uh, yeah tell me a little bit about uh, about the, your history before because uh, i'm the you know i'm 10 years in the in the radio control cars a little bit more you're a newbie uh, yeah exactly so uh, <laughs> uh, so just tell me a little bit about uh, how you starting and how many years did it take you to uh, you know how many years ago you started uh, well, playing I with their cars? i had my first car when i was 11 years old so I'm 43 now, so I've been in it a good number of years. I've, um, I was, I guess, um, lucky to develop fairly quickly at an age where development was fairly prominent and fast and quick paced. So, um, and I ran associated from the very first RC 10 days, and I've been with the company kind of ever since as a racer and then an employee. So I got to travel the world. I won my first Euros in '96. And, um, and, um, and ended up winning 11 European titles throughout the course of my career. I never won a world. The closest I ever got was third. I won uh, Reedy races in touring, but not in off-road. So I've, I've, had, um, I've had like mixed discipline, really. I was a uh, 12-scale, 10-scale pan car, um, some nitro, um, a little bit of 8-scale off-road. But electric off-road racing has always been kind of my, my number one category. I did touring car. It's yeah, it's, it, I wouldn't say favorite, but it was always the one that I had the most success in. I did really well in 12 scale at big international events. I did really well in pan cars at international events, and um, and also the the touring. I had you know good success in touring. You know, World's A finals, um, European. I never won a Euros actually, but um, European champion TQ. So I've had a mixed bag of uh, results across my career. So, but I do have. A passion for the ten scale off road. That's that's probably if I was to pick a cast, that's the one that I would I would pick as being my most favoured class. What is uh, together with the, between uh, Reedy and Associate? Uh, there was uh, there was separate or uh, how, how do, why, why it's always together these two names? Well, in house um, the the companies are under one roof. Yeah. So, oh, okay. so we uh, we operate that way, and um, you know there's a close connection between our history and founding members, and um, the companies run side by side. So it's um, it's sometimes difficult to separate them. You know, you want other brands, and we've done it in the past over in the states. I have sponsored TLR drivers or Yokomo drivers running Reedy products, and there still are now. But generally, the two tend to be very tightly connected. Okay. Okay. So, uh, so that was uh, that was the infer interview with uh, Greg Desher. Yeah, I spell right. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was the in uh, that was the infer in interview. With the associate manager of the, the of the Europe. Yes. That's yeah, right. that's yeah, correct. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. So thank you very much. Thank you. High Thanks five. very much. And, uh, yeah. See you later. Thank you. Yeah, we wish, of course, wish you good luck. Wish good luck on the finals. Yeah. All right.